everybody, I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. Okay, today is kind of a fun recipe. We're gonna be making sliders, cheeseburger sliders, but not how you think. We're gonna be making it a, a different way. We're gonna be making sheet pan cheeseburger sliders. So it's just a fun way to do it. You're gonna love it. It's a great way to feed a crowd for parties, things like that. Doesn't take much effort at all. Okay, so let's make our sliders. So the first thing we're gonna do is our meat. Um, so we're gonna flavor it first. So let's do, whenever you make meatballs or any kind of meat item where you're flavoring the meat, go ahead and mix all the flavorings first before adding the meat. It just makes for better distribution of the flavor. So um, we're gonna add a couple of eggs just to help bind our burgers a little bit. And then we're gonna go some breadcrumb, panko, or whatever breadcrumbs you have is fine. Um, milk is just gonna add a little bit of moisture to the, the burgers. You won't even know it's there. And then I have salt, pepper, and garlic powder just to season it and then some more Chestershire sauce. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use my hands and give that a stir just until it comes together. And then add my hamburger and this is gonna use two pounds. Um, for this recipe, I would say use the leanest hamburger that you can find. Um, I would say we got all sorts of noises going on in the kitchen, that's weird. Okay, but anyways, we're gonna go 85-15, so that means 85% meat to 15% fat. So that's a fairly lean cut of ground beef. You can find it as, as fattening as like 73, 17, 23, I don't know. Don't do math on TV I, as a rule. I shouldn't do it. Either way, lean beef is what we want. And then we just bring our meat just until it comes together. Don't over mix it because then it, it ends up being tough at the end. So just until it comes together, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna be cooking this on a sheet pan. So what we're gonna do is get a sheet pan, put some parchment paper. Um, you don't have to use parchment paper, but I just like the, the convenience of not having to clean a sheet pan too much. So what I'm gonna do is put my onion on the sheet pan and spread it out. So this is just a regular onion that I've cut um, fairly small. You want to go almost immense with it, unless you like big chunks of onions, which is fine too. But so do that, spread that out. My oven is preheating to 425, and then I'm going to take my beef and just put on the sheet pan there. And then I'm just going to spread it out in the pan, kind of see where I'm going here. Um, and so what we end up with is just this big giant hamburger patty that later we can cut into individual sliders so that way we're not having to make little patties and go through that whole process so this is just a super convenient kind of fun way to to do this okay so once you get it all spread out don't worry if your onions are kind of spread into the edges it's it's going to be okay okay remove my gloves my oven's preheated let's get this in the oven and i think i might have one that's already done okay so we'll get it out okay so whoo my cheese is browning. Speaking of cheese, so during during a part of the part where I, anyways, I didn't do this part during the segment where I added cheese. Um, take the meat out after 10 minutes, dab it with paper towels to get some of the fat off of it, and then put your American cheese on there, which I did, and then put it back in the oven just to melt it. And don't leave it in as long as I did. As you can see, I maybe overdid it just a little bit, but a little bit of brown cheese, nobody doesn't like brown cheese, I love it. But anyways, then afterwards you just get your pizza cutter, cut that into even pieces, and then we'll make sliders, right? I like to use uh, just um, dinner rolls, works fine. You can use like Hawaiian rolls, things like that, but they just work perfect for this sort of thing. And we'll take our little cheese sliders, put them on there. And then we have our sliders and top them, of course, it, any way you like them. You can find all of these ingredients at your local Smiths. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for shopping. And we will see you all next time. Bye-bye.